Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly news report keeping you up to date on the latest happenings here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. Work on both units continues at a brisk pace. Over on the Unit 3 side of the project, 1,800 cubic yards of concrete was placed in CA-20 in early March. The pour took 45 hours to complete in a continuous flow of concrete. CA-20 is the critical module that will house various plant components, including the used fuel storage area. CA-03, a component that will form one wall of the end containment refueling water storage tank, has been upended and is ready for placement in the nuclear island. Work on the Unit 3 cooling tower continues with the installation of the internal precast structures and systems. Completion of the internals is on track to wrap up shortly. Meanwhile, the Unit 4 tower continues to rise from the landscape and currently stands at 500 feet, eventually topping out at 605 feet. CA-05 will be placed in the Unit 4 island during the first part of this year, and structural steel continues to rise over the Unit 4 turbine island. Over in the modular assembly building, more components for Unit 4 are underway. Fabrication of 11 submodules for CA-01 are in progress, and submodules for CA-20 are being upended and seam welding continues. As you can see, so much is happening every day here at the construction site, but things have been happening on the leadership side of the project as well. In February, Buzz Miller, former Executive Vice President for Nuclear Development, was named President and CEO of Southern Power. In his former role, Buzz provided vision and strategic leadership for the Vogel 3 and 4 project from the very beginning. Mark Rockhorse was recently named Executive Vice President of Construction for Southern Nuclear, and in that role, he will continue to keep this historic project moving forward and provide the focus that is a vital part of this effort. Recently, we had the opportunity to catch up with Mark Rockhorse on site to get an update on his plans moving forward this year and beyond to the completion of the project. These are exciting times at Vogel 3 and 4, right, with the settlement that's now been put in place. Starting January 4th, new contractor showed, on, showed up on site, Fleur, and uh, now working with Westinghouse, we're in the process of getting four acclimated to the project, getting all of their leadership in place, and they're taking over the various aspects of construction. It really now is focused on making sure that every day matters. Really impressed with the way that Floor and Westinghouse approached day one. Uh, they focused on establishing one team with one purpose, and that was to execute and construct these plants safely and to make sure that we stayed on the schedule that we had communicated to both the Public Service Commission and to our co-owners. So with any transition, it doesn't happen overnight, uh, especially something of this scale and magnitude. For a project like this, we know that we're going to have a steep ramp up of resource requirements. The craft we're going to need to execute not only the Unit 3 activities, but the Unit 4 activities. So one of the first things that Floor did was reach out to the building trades to let them know what those resource requirements are going to be by craft, by area, and a timeline associated with that. So now the building trades can work with Floor in order to make sure we've got the right resources with the right training and the right qualification when we need them here in the field behind me. That's key to our success, right? Because as much as we put all of this stuff together, it still boils down to the individual trades that are working in the field every day and they're the ones that are going to help us be successful. Thanks, Mark, for giving us the latest information on the transition to Westinghouse as lead contractor. VCM 14 was filed with the Georgia PSC at the end of February and highlighted many of the updates on the project. Some of the highlights included the Unit 3 Nuclear Island, where more than 195 tons of rebar have been installed and more than 2,500 cubic yards of concrete have been placed. The first and second courses of shield building panels were placed, and concrete has been placed inside those panels. The Unit 3 Turbine Island saw the final concrete placement prior to the installation of the turbine casings. 
structural steel installation above the turbine deck has begun and currently stands at 243 feet. The well-trained and qualified operating staff is taking shape at Vogel 3 and 4. Successful turnover of systems, components, and structures is already happening in some areas. The new engineering support building is fully occupied and houses several departments, including operations, engineering, and many more. Karen Foley, Site Vice President, also resides in this building. As you can see, many people are working very hard on this monumental project. Not only are folks going above and beyond here at the site, but they're also stepping up to make a real difference in the region and surrounding communities. Citizens of Georgia Power East Region Chapters volunteered more than 8,500 hours in the past year. Vogel employees set a plant record, pledging more than $320,000 in personal contributions to the United Way campaign, supporting local charities. To give us more details on the volunteer efforts going on with our Plant Vogel employees, we spoke to Fran Forehand, Georgia Power's East Region Vice President. Our employees here in East Region are very passionate about the role they play in providing clean, safe, reliable energy for our customers. They are equally as passionate about giving back to the communities in which we live and serve. In 2015, our employees across the state of Georgia logged 169,000 volunteer hours in our communities across the state, totaling more than $4 million. The employees here in East Region um, donated or raised over $500,000 for our community and logged more than 8,500 volunteer hours in our community here in East Region. The Neighborhood Renewal Project for Shell Bluff Community is one that's near and dear to our hearts. That is a nonprofit area that's between Georgia Power Company and its joint owners for Plant Vogel and where we're going through and renewing several homes near Plant Vogel. We have completed four homes already and we have many more that are in store for this year and next. The citizens of Georgia Power Chapter at Plant Vogel raised more than $100,000 um, in a clay shoot and a golf tournament at Sage Valley this year. A couple of nonprofits in our community benefited from this fundraiser at Sage Valley. Those would include Wimberley House in Burke County and Safe Homes in Augusta. Our employees are not mandated to volunteer in our communities. They volunteer in our communities because it's personal. We live here also. Our employees understand that in order for our communities to prosper and grow, we have to do our part to give back in the communities in which we live and serve. Thanks so much, Fran, for that amazing insight on how the employees of Plant Vogel are truly making a difference in this community and living out the motto of being a citizen wherever we serve. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey as we build the first new nuclear in the U.S. in 30 years. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you this summer for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.